Hey everybody, I'm back. It's me, back again with another one. Thank you all for coming back to see what T-Block is doing again. Thank you. But before we get into this interesting video, yes, right here, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit a thumbs up as well, and leave a comment down below. Share the videos everywhere you go. Tell them T-Block is over here doing a Q&A on this video. All right, y'all. Thank you guys. So, you all have been rocking with me from the beginning, doing this pumpkin spice. Everything's a pumpkin and everything's a pumpkin spice series that I have been doing. And I appreciate everyone that has chimed in, saw each and every last one of the videos. I appreciate those <coughs> that has commented to the videos and that has basically everybody that has supported the channel and supported me through this series. Now, was it an easy series to do? Uh, we're going to get into that, okay? So, but was it challenging? We're going to get into that in this video. So, let's start off with the top tier question. Now, this is not a question. This is just something I want to say. Okay, that's not something I want to say. This is part of the video. <laughs> we had, I had actually did 17, now count it now, 17 recipes on this video. And I'm going to mention each and every last one of them, okay? The first one was the um, pumpkin pecan spice oatmeal. The second one was the <laughs> pumpkin gouda flavored grits that was savory the next one the third one was pumpkin spice muffins the next one was pumpkin spice latte which that was done from a plaque from from a uh, dollar tree the next one was number five was pumpkin spice candy walnuts the number six was no baked pumpkin spice cheesecake in the ramekins Number seven was pumpkin pecan spice pancakes. Number eight was pumpkin spice smoothie. Number nine was pumpkin spice rice krispies. Number 10 was pumpkin spice uh, cream cheese spread with pumpkin spice biscuits. Okay. And number 11 was mini pumpkin pies. Number 12 was pumpkin honey butter cornbread. Number 13 was pumpkin zucchini bread. And number 14 was pumpkin spice iced coffee. Number 15 was brownies made with pumpkin. And number 16 was pin, uh, pumpkin peanut butter treats for dogs and number 17 was pumpkin spice pudding cup all right so now you got all those recipes that i had made on the channel and now we're getting into the questionnaire okay um the of the uh not the questionnaire but we're getting into each recipe and how did i like the recipes and you know each one is likes is dislikes or whatever like that okay so the very first one which was the pumpkin uh pecan oatmeal my likes on the pumpkin pecan oatmeal it was very delicious and flavorful the spices in the pumpkin pecan oatmeal blended very well with the pumpkin because it made it taste like a pumpkin pie that um but you're eating it like an oatmeal okay so like if you have that fall flavor taste that you want before fall you can just you know add these spices into your oatmeal and still be able to eat good and healthy, you know, because uh, the spices are very good for you anyway. All like the cinnamon, the cloves, the ginger, and so on. So, yes, it was very good. So, the dislikes, there was no dislikes on that one. Was there anything that I would have done different in that um, pumpkin uh uh pecan oatmeal? No, there was not be that would not be anything different that I would have done. Okay, so now we're going to talk about um, 
the great uh the great flavor <laughs> flavored with gouda cheese uh pumpkin flavored great uh uh gouda grits uh cheese grits um uh, i like this dish it was very great but um they were very creamy the likes that i like about it it was very creamy it the cheese with the gouda uh, the Gouda cheese with the grits and the uh, pumpkin really gave it a really creamy and cheesy flavorful taste, if you understand what I'm saying about that. Um, it was very savory. It was good. I like the fact that I used it with the little chicken broth to kind of give that flavor to the grits. And so I wanted to bring something savory, and it was very tasteful. Okay. Is there any dislikes about this? Okay. I, had, I think I had a little small just like I said. I like the I like sweet grits better than I do savory grits. But you know, I mean, one thing I like about making it with the pumpkin, I could have still made it uh, sweet other than savory. But I knew that um, I needed to bring some savory to the channel. Okay, now the pumpkin um, pecan and pumpkin spice walk, uh, muffins. Excuse me, I got ingested a little bit. <laughs> okay. And I have my papers right here in front of me. So I'm just giving you all my, my opinion on this. Okay, so on the pumpkin muffins, they turned out wonderful. One thing I like about what I did is I did it as a shortcut way to show you guys that you, instead of, you know, I, I like to bake cakes too. I like to make them homemade too. But, you know, if a person didn't have all the ingredients and it was just you could walk in the store and pick up a $2 cake, you know, what can I do with it? If you got something sitting on your shelf, even if you got just a vanilla box cake mix or a, or a yellow cake mix, you could take the spices from uh, make your own pumpkin pie spice spices and mix it into there and then add your pumpkin to it. So... It, you still would have been able to still make these muffins, okay? But I went to the store and I had um, gotten a spice cake mix because I know I was going to need it for a couple of recipes. And one thing about the spice cake mix is I already got the spices in it. So it was very good. It was very flavorful. The pecans worked very well into those muffins with the icing on top. It was spot on. Uh, was there any dislikes? No, there was no dislikes. Did I think there was anything I would have do different on those. Mm, I think the only thing that I probably wouldn't have added the icing because they already was pretty sweet themselves. Okay, so number 14. Um, my love, my eye jumping. Yeah. <laughs> on both sides I've been doing that. Okay, so num <clears throat> that's number 14. Number four uh, is the latte made from the plaque from the, from the Dollar Tree, the pumpkin spice latte. I liked it. I thought it was just okay. Um, not enough sweetness to it. Even when I used the um, the molasses syrup, I still needed to add a little brown sugar to it to give it a sweetness. Because I like lattes to be a little sweeter. A little, not real super sweet, but sweet enough where I can enjoy it. Was there any dislikes? Just what I said about the little sweetness with the, adding the brown sugar. Would there be anything different that I would have done to it? Well, just like I said, and just a little more brown sugar. Um, number five we got here is the walnut, the candy walnuts, y'all. Those was a 10 out of 10 hit, not a miss. They were jamming. So I love these. <coughs> Definitely will make again, okay? <laughs> um, was there any dislikes? There was no dislikes. Was there anything I would have changed on them? No, there was nothing that I would have changed on them. I love that recipe. I will make those again. Okay, number six, pumpkin uh, pumpkin spice cheesecakes, the ones that was in the little white ramekin. Um, I like the flavor of the pumpkin spice. Uh, was spot on, <laughs> you know, it had a great flavor, you know, with the cream cheese and everything. It really paired very well, okay, making it into a cheesecake. Okay, so uh, was there any dislikes? I should have added a little more spice, you know, a little pumpkin spice to it. And I think the thing that would have made it better for me instead of using graham crackers, um, the graham crackers that I use, I think 
using like a ginger snap cookie would have really brought the cheesecake flavor out. So if you were to try this recipe, please use like a ginger snap because uh, I would make this again and I would use ginger snap cookies next time. Uh, so that would be my difference in uh, what I would change in difference. Okay. And of course, um, I would also use like a Greek yogurt as well to help with the pair with that too. Just a little bit. Okay. Um, so we have number seven of uh, the pumpkin pecan pancakes. Uh, those were very delicious. I used those with my sister's uh, Belkin Cooks uh, <coughs> pancake mix. Um, those turned out wonderful. Of course, the flavors that she put in her pancake mix is spot on. The way she mixed that pancake, the mixture up together, it was spot on. So for me to just add my touch to it with the pumpkin and the pecans and the, um, the pumpkin spice <coughs> flavoring and stuff, spot on. My girl did it. Thank you, Belle can cook. And, um, uh, was there any, uh, dislikes? There was no dislikes. Um, I think, um, anything that I would have done different probably would have uh, been careful with the color of the pancakes because it did get a little dark, but I do like dark pancakes. So that's me. I like mine to have my crust on, but, um, some people don't. Okay. Number eight, uh, pumpkin spice smoothie. Pumpkin spice smoothie was very, very good. Okay. I like the frozen bananas in the smoothie. It made it much creamier with the pumpkin and the frozen pumpkin and the bananas and the spice together and sweeten it with a little bit of that uh, molasses syrup. Molasses syrup is my go-to for sweetener. I, I can't really, I don't like the taste of maple. Uh, just doesn't taste well in my, t you know, it's a texture thing. But the molasses served very, very, very well in this here. Was there anything that I disliked about it? No. Um, I would use next time, like I said, I could use honey other than um, molasses if I choose to. Okay. So, number nine. Um, the Rice Krispie, the Pumpkin Spice Rice Krispie Treats. Y'all, those is one of my top tiers. Okay. So I like these. Uh, this was spot on. Um, the flavors, the even the color, like I told you guys in the video, uh, the, the color was spot on. <laughs> the color of a pumpkin. That's what I wanted with the uh, food coloring dye, um, as well as the spice. <clears throat> you know, my, my own homemade pumpkin spice. And it, it just tasted so delicious, y'all. You could check me out in the video eating it at the end of it. Eating them by the edges. Okay. Was there anything that I would have done different? No, there was nothing I would have done different. There was no dislikes about it. So, number 10. Uh, the biscuits and the cream cheese. The pumpkin spice biscuits and <laughs> cream cheese spread. Okay. Speaking on the biscuits first. Uh, these were great. The biscuits were great. I used a biscuit mix that came from my food pantry. I could have made my own homemade biscuit mix, but I chose to do it from the food pantry. And if you have seen the video, you noticed that I didn't go by the recipe on the back of the bag, but I went by the two ingredient biscuit mix uh, mixture. So basically that's the biscuit mix itself that I use from the food pantry. And I used also uh, whipping cream to uh, make the mixture and fold it and do that. So, um, and I had added a little pumpkin spice <laughs> spice in there. Um, the cream cheese, I liked, I liked it. It was pretty good. Uh, the only that did, did I have any dislikes of it? No, there was no dislike. Would there be anything different that I would have done to this? I think I would have added the whole block of cream cheese. It might, yeah, because I only added just a little bit. But I was expecting you got to understand, I was expecting to just do just a little bit because it's only two of us in the family, and um, I wasn't for sure if Dee, Dee was gonna like it. So, um, number 11, mini pumpkin pies. Many pumpkin pies. I just love the fresh flavor, the freshness, and the taste of fresh pumpkins. Fresh pumpkin pies are, this was delicious. Spot on for me, it was delicious. Uh, was there any dislikes? No, there was no dislikes. Um, was there anything that I would have done <laughs> different? Of course, 
uh, when I was roasting my pumpkin, I think I would have let it stay in for about another 20 minutes. So that way I wouldn't have to re roast it but also like i said when you break it up and it's not done put a piece of foil over it because you want to use that juiciness to uh puree it with you know okay so number 12 is the honey butter pumpkin honey butter cornbread okay so the <laughs> these little ramekin cornbreads was very very good um the flavor was very mild but um, you could still kind of taste a little of the pumpkin. I just feel like I didn't put enough pumpkin flavor in there, like the puree pumpkin to get that pop of pumpkin as well as eating the cornbread like you would with the sweet potato cornbread, you know. Uh, was there any dislikes that I didn't like? I said, really, there wasn't no dislikes. Uh, was there anything that I would have done different? Would have been adding more pumpkin, probably a whole maybe a half a cup, because I think I only added like a one-fourth cup or maybe a half a cup, or maybe a whole cup next time. So whatever, I have to go back, recheck that video again, see how much the measurements was, but okay. <clears throat> Number 13, the pumpkin spice zucchini bread. So of course, I loved it hands down, y'all. I loved it that hands down. There was no dislikes, anything I would have done differently, nothing. It, it, it was one of my top tiers, definitely one of my top tiers. Okay, number 14, we have here the iced coffee, the pumpkin spice iced coffee. Yes, I liked it, the iced coffee, y'all. The taste of the iced coffee was very flavorful. I've never tried Highlands brand iced coffee. This was my first time, and of course, that was something from my food bank. My local drive-up food bank, where they do harvester trucks, and you bring the food out, so and they give it to the, <laughs> to the people. So I ended up getting to, I told you in the, in the video when you saw the food bank video that I had to and I gave one away and then I kept one because I knew maybe this would help me with one of my recipes and it did, which is the iced coffee. So I was able to blend some of that pumpkin in there and it really tasted very well. I just think the uh, thing that I could have did differently was to add a little more ice to it and, and not uh, use a fropper. <laughs> to make my whipping but was there any dislikes there really wasn't no dislikes it's just adding a little more ice and be careful be careful about using a fropper to make my whipping cream for it okay number 15 the brownies made with pumpkin okay y'all those brownies were spot on with the fudginess i promise you if you get the pack says fudge brownies and you just add a cup of pumpkin to it, you will not miss the fudge. The fudge will still be there. The brownie taste will still be there. It's not going to taste like a pumpkin. I promise you, it won't. It still tastes like brownies. Dee Dee asked me, say, Mama, where's all the brownies? Because I gave away some of them, be, you know, for my sister to try <laughs> and stuff. And <laughs> she said, excuse me, I'm, she said, where's the brownies? I said, well, I didn't want us to be having all those brownies in the house. So I just gave them, oh, my dang, you could have came and left me some or something. <laughs> so, you know, I left her about three. <laughs> she wanted some more. <laughs> so that would be a definitely, yes, I will make that again. Okay, number 16 is the pumpkin peanut butter um, treats for dogs, y'all. Y'all already know that it was a great taste, hands down. There's no dislikes, and there's uh, nothing different I would have done to that recipe. Y'all got dog approved. He loved them. Okay. And number 17 is the last one, which was the pumpkin uh, pudding cup. I liked the flavors. It was okay, but it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Okay. And um and also like I was saying in the video, um when I made it, I just went on to taste it right then and there. I didn't put it in the refrigerator and let it sit. You know how you put pudding in after you mix it up, put it in the refrigerator, let it sit and then and it come out and you can taste it and it's kind of little lumps and creamy and stuff. Well I didn't do that, I just went on to taste it like that. So I think that's probably why I'm giving it it was okay. And I will not make it again. Um uh, was there any dislikes? Uh, I just think that the flavors didn't pair well. So it's possibility they could have, but it didn't pair well to me. 
okay? Maybe if I had made it homemade in a different way or something, probably would have, but I, the way I made it, I, it just didn't pair well for me, okay? Okay, y'all, so um, those were the 17 recipes, my questions on how did I like them. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to um, answer my own questions, my Q&A questions about the recipes, okay? <laughs> okay, so here's the Q&A questions. Okay, the first one is, this is the other part of it. Uh, this is the second part of the Q&A questions. Uh, the first one is, how many recipes did... <laughs> did I do in the series? I did 17 recipes, y'all. 17, okay? And it's real easy to forget because in between the series, I kind of took a break in between because I was actually trying to do a recipe per day and I wanted it to be 30-day recipes all the way leading up to Halloween, but I couldn't do it because at the time I took an ill, so I at least got 17 recipes. Okay. Number two... Uh, now I'm going to talk about <coughs> how did the series go? How did I feel about the series? And it says, let's talk about how I wanted the series to go. How did I feel about it? Okay, when I first started off, I knew it might, would be very fun. And, but I knew it may be a little challenge because <coughs> trying to figure out recipes to bring to China. I knew a few of them that I wanted to bring, but there were some that I actually made on my own. <laughs> like, the zucchini bread one. There's like a lot of them I made on my own. You know what I'm saying? I, I There was none that I actually looked up to say, oh, you can make this and I can do that. No, these actually was recipes that I made on my own. I just used a tweak of some other things like, like with the zucchini bread, I tweaked it with using a spice cake. Um, as well as with the pancakes, I used my sister's pancake mix. Um, but however, I tweaked all of these recipes to make it my own. Um, uh, even <clears throat> with the candy walnuts, you know, um, this was my own tweak. Okay. Please excuse <coughs> the, um, background. My daughter's probably going live up there on her, you know, but so anyway, now how I wanted the series to go it would have been lovely that to see anybody else to comment down in the bottom and say, oh, I'd like to do this with you. And it would have been great to be able to go to their channel, see what they posted, and then see how their recipes was, and then to share their channel onto the community tab and say, hey, go over and support. This is one of my favorite, you know, uh, supporters, and uh, they are, are, are supporting on the series, and I would love for you guys to go check and see their recipes out. But I didn't get that, so I'm not worried about that. This was just something I wanted to do on my own anyway. Um, and I'm glad I did, and I brought it. Okay, so I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, and I, you know, like I said, I get it, before I get to the next question, I do get it that everybody doesn't like pumpkin. But, you know, I just wanted to bring this to the channel because there's a lot of people that, that do like pumpkin. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I, I want to bring to them, uh, there's other things you can do with it other than just a pumpkin pie or, you know, so. Okay. So, number question three. Do I like pumpkin or pumpkin spice? The answer to that is yes. But am I a big fan of it? Not so much. See, that's something you didn't know about me. Do I like it? Yeah, I like it. But it had to take somebody to turn me on to like it. You know what I'm saying? But am I a big fan of it? No, because on Thanksgiving, I don't make a pumpkin pie. Do you think I do? Nope. <laughs> do I eat anything that's pumpkin on Thanksgiving? No, I don't. So, here we go. <laughs> if so, because it's the answer just to piggyback off question three. Question four is to piggyback off of that. Uh, if so... Where did I start to love pumpkin? The first person that got me to start to love pumpkin was my mom. My mom will always go to the store and get the great big pumpkins that you can make pumpkin pies out of. And she will always make pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving. 
She will always make a sweet potato pie and pumpkin pies for Thanksgiving. And, her, and, question, and to be serious about it, my mom's pumpkin pies would be stringy. Cause she would blend it up with a blend with the with a mixer, you know. So, but they would be good though, cause they would they wouldn't even taste like pumpkin pies. They would taste like sweet potato pies, and it's the way she made them. Okay, so number five, was there any recipes I wanted to do in this series? Was there any other recipes that I wanted to do in this series? Yes. There were several recipes that I would have loved to do in the series because as I went on and on figuring up recipes and I got to 17, of course, you know, for me to get to 17 recipes, I'm thinking like, what else can I do with pumpkin? What else can I do with pumpkin? What else can I put pumpkin in? How can I make this pumpkin savory? How can I? Yes, there was other things that I want to do. But did I have enough time this year? No, I didn't. So... It may, it might, and it might not be another series next year. We don't know. Who's to say? Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, here we go. <laughs> now we're going to talk about which ones are my top, my top five out of all the recipes. My top five and why. The number one, Rice Krispie Treats. And, of course, you already knew why the Rice Krispie Treats, the Pumpkin Spice Rice Krispie Treats was my top five. It's because of the color and the flavor and how it turned out so good. It was just like buying a Rice Krispie Treat in the store. And, yes, it turned out wonderful. Number two, the candy, <laughs> the candy uh, Pumpkin Spice Walnuts. Hands down, top tier, bam. Hit it on the, on the table, y'all. Money. Okay. Number three, the pumpkin spice zucchini bread. Very delicious, very flavorful, so soft and moist. I never thought I could eat a vegetable inside of a doggone piece of bread. <laughs> but it was good, y'all. So these these five top tiers is what, you know, I, I like it. <laughs> okay. Number four, uh, the brownies made with pumpkins. Definitely will make again. Definitely will make again. Uh, number five with the mini pumpkin pies and I definitely will make them again too <laughs> yes so my major top tier like I say you all better listen to this com this video pay attention because this is going to be a part of the Q&A that's coming up next week the Q&A that's coming up next week so be ready because it's going to be coming Thursday next week and then we're going to find out who is the winner and then once we find out who's the winner for this book, I'm dropping my stuff out. Who's the winner for this book? We'll be getting this book once they get the two answers right in this uh, video here. Okay? The two answers right in this video. So, I have my top tier and my second top tier I'm going to talk about. My first top tier in all those recipes I made was the candy pumpkin spice walnuts. Top number one. It top notch. It top notch, y'all. It top notch. It's that boom, 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 boom. <laughs> the candy walnuts. My second one. Whoop, whoop. Y'all know I got to give it up to the Rice Krispies. I got to give it up to the Rice Krispies. I got to give it up to the Rice Krispies. Now I got to give it up to the Rice Krispies. And then my third one after that, like I said, if I had to fold it into place, the third one after that would definitely be <laughs> the brownies, then the zucchini bread. But I like the both of them equally. Uh, but, but that's how I'm doing it. <laughs> so, and then the mini pumpkin pies. So, you know that my first one is the, can the candy walnuts and my second one is the rice krispie treat so now you've already got two of the questions already answered it's going to be four questions in this video that's coming up thursday on the live it's going to be live okay and then me and Didi is going to give two more questions okay but you only need to answer and get one right you only need to get one right okay and then whoever wins 
Once we're off that live, go to the comments. Leave a comment down below with your P.O. box or, you know what I'm saying, so or email so I can be able to reach out to you. I will be watching that for two hours, okay? And then, bam, if I don't get, if don't put it in there, I don't know what to do. We'll go to the second next best winner, and then we'll have to reach, do another live, and then reach out to them, and then see if they'll do it, okay? But I would love for whoever to win. This book has some wonderful recipes, and I'm pretty sure you would love it for around Christmas time, you and your family. I promise you, you would. I've seen so many great recipes I'm getting ready to bring to you guys. And also, in here, in this video, I'm telling you, I'm getting ready to do another series. So if you're willing to want to participate in this series, please comment down below, okay, that you want to participate in the series. You don't have to show your face. If you have a channel and you love to cook, you don't have to show your face. I will be doing a, a, um, a 12 Days of Christmas cook-off, okay? And just participate. So that way, when you do participate, we will talk more about this on the live, about the 12 Days of Christmas before we do the Q&A, okay? So I'm starting a new trend, 12 Days of Christmas cook-off, and it's based on the song on my 12 Day of Christmas. Won't you listen to me? A pear tree in a pear tree. So pear tree start with a P. You have to cook and make something with the P. You don't have to cook it. It could be, <coughs> it could be, you can make treats. You can make a dinner. You can make a meal. You can make a dessert. You can make a um, uh, appetizer. Cook, you know what I'm saying? Cook, you can make a drink. Just as long as you make something that's all with a P. And the same thing. On the second day of Christmas, what you listen to me? Two turtle doves. So you got to make something that starts with turtle. You start with the first initial. T. So make something. It could be tacos. It could be tortillas. It could be, you know, <laughs> tortilla dip or something, whatever. Okay? But I want to have fun this year for Christmas with you guys. And that would be wonderful. And we'll talk more about this on the Q&A on the live this coming Thursday. So look out for that on the community tab. I'm getting ready to post that now as I get ready to upload this video. Blessings to you all. Love you guys. Peace and release. Don't forget that hair grease. See ya.